Who am I talking with? I'm Dave Nielsen of CloudCamp. You're going to explain cloud computing to my mom, and my mom doesn't know much about computers. Well, let's do that. Well, <laughs> that might be a little tough, but um, the basic concept is that you want a service. Cloud computing is a service that is, A, managed by someone else, okay? So you don't have to set up and configure all the technical hardware and all that kind of stuff. Somebody else who specializes in that can do that. Uh, B, it's got to be on demand, meaning you shouldn't have to call them or submit a fax or something and then wait for some period of time in order for that service to be available. You should be able to go into a web browser, fill out a form, and boom, that service should be available immediately. Number three, it should be metered or measured in some way so that you know how much you're using. Just like your cell phone bill or your electricity bill, you know every month uh, how much you're using, and if you go online, you can see how much you've used so far this month, so you can decide, oh my gosh, it's getting too expensive, I need to cut back, or you can say, you know, I really want a better experience for my customers, so I I'm going to choose to have more now. Uh, so it needs to be measured or metered. Uh, and number four, it's got to be scalable. You don't want to have start using a service, and all of a sudden you find out that whoever's providing it to you can't give you any more, and now you're stuck using the service that's not meeting your needs. So you should be able to scale up, and then the opposite should be true as well. You should be able to scale down so that if you're not using it, you can turn it off and stop paying for it. So those are the four main criteria. And then you could say there's one other one that's important, which is the automation. You should be able to somehow automate it, but that's maybe an advanced feature. Uh, one last thing I'd like to add, which is it's not really just about the technology. It's also about how you use the technology. And cloud computing, it should free you from limitations of physical hardware and human wait times. So you should be able to have access to computing at unlimited scale without having to wait. And that's the main value of cloud computing.